Hello viewers, greetings of the day. The topic that we are going to see today is non-documentary sources. Introduction to non-documentary sources. Non-documentary sources are otherwise called paperless sources. Non-documentary sources are convenient and easy to use. One can get information directly from the non-documentary sources. In non-documentary sources, one can get clarification from the expert by means of verbal communication. Many user studies proved that non-documentary sources are significant source of information. Need for non-documentary sources. Non-documentary sources came into existence due to so many problems created by documentary sources. Non-documentary sources provide immediate record information to the users. Non-documentary sources are available in digital form. In non-documentary sources, it is easy to search information. Categories of non-documentary sources. Non-documentary sources can be divided into two categories. Number one, formal sources. Number two, informal sources formal sources formal sources are those which are available through properly established organizations establishments associations or in other words through proper channels examples for non formal sources information delivered in radio television conferences and research and development organizations. Informal sources. Informal sources are in the form of verbal or oral communication and not in written form. Example, telephone talk, conversation with colleagues that may be within the organization or outside the organization, exchange of information in seminars, and symposiums, information transferred in lectures, symposiums, etc. Types of non-documentary sources. In general, non-documentary sources can be grouped into four types. Human sources or informal sources, number two. Institutional sources or formal sources, number three. Invisible colleges and number four. Technological gatekeepers. Human sources are informal sources. Human sources of information are those in which any individual serves as a source of information. If a man who is engaged in doing historical research, the best way to get information is to go to the particular place and talk to the oldest person of the area. The oldest person will provide a lot of information from his memories. In addition to it, interaction with experts, fellows, specialists, family members gives a lot of information to solve various problems of the researchers. Institutional sources are formal sources. Sometimes the information is not published in regular publications. So this can be sought directly from the research organizations. This is the case of institutional sources of information. In this type of information sources, the roles of specialized information centers, referral centers, clearing houses, trade promotion councils, learned societies, associations and universities. Invisible colleges. The term invisible colleges is coined by Robert Boyle. Invisible college is not an institution. It's a network of two or more people who share information among themselves. It's a group of people and sometimes a single individual who is having extreme base of knowledge in his 
or her field of expertise. Invisible college means human source of knowledge. They might be academicians, librarians, etc. Technological gatekeepers. The term technological gatekeepers is coined by T.J. Allen. It may be defined as expert, both internal and external communication star, having much higher exposure to professional literature and attend more conferences and has more professional affiliation. Characteristics of technological gatekeepers. Members of group of 8 to 15, they are active participants within the group. They are esteemed for their knowledge and expertise by other members. Technological gatekeepers are active in seeking information through formal and informal channels. They are experts in interpreting information. They are visible and friendly with everyone. Thank you all for watching this video. Thank you.